Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Colorworks TV. I'm Katie Decker, your certified color consultant and host for this brief episode. As you know, we kick off each episode with a product profile whereby we take a look at the various products on the market and let you know whether it's a good spend or if you're better off saving your pennies for some other product down the road or going with something more generic. Uh, this week we're going to take a look at Benjamin Moore's Natura product, actually. It's a green product that is on the market. As you probably are aware, there's a number of green products that have been released to the market as part of the eco-conscious building wave. However, what we have found with a lot of these products is they claim to have zero VOCs or low VOCs. And what VOCs stand for is volatile organic compounds. These are the types of things that you notice when you crack a can of paint, for instance, you'll smell them. That is the smell. They're coming from VOCs. Um, it also has been proven by the EPA that they actually can cause some short-term and long-term health problems. And so you want to be careful how much exposure you have to VOCs, which is why a lot of people are looking for a zero or low VOC paint. However, what we have found with a lot of these paints is while the can starts with zero or low VOCs, by the time the dye is added to create the color you want, it actually ends up having a lot of VOCs. The reason why? The VOCs are in the dye itself. And so once you add the dye to the paint can, you've put the VOCs right back in it. So is it really worth your money? Not usually. Um, there is one exception to this though, and that is Benjamin Moore's Natura paint. Natura paint is actually dyed or tinted with a zero VOC tint. It's actually a water-based tint system instead of a chemical-based tint system. This means that even if you were to make the darkest rust or berry colors, you're still going to get that zero VOC element, which is what you're looking for and what you're paying for, because typically these paints cost quite a bit more than their more generic or VOC loaded compounds um, or competitors. So that being said, when we took a look at Benjamin Moore's uh, Natura paint, we said, well, does it really hold up over time? A lot of these paints are not very scrubbable that claim to be green. Uh, they end up compromising in other areas. They, the color isn't necessarily as good. Um, this is one that we are happy to give two thumbs up to. We will say this is worth spending your extra pennies on, especially if you want a zero VOC paint that is a true zero VOC paint. Um, in fact, this paint is so good that it's actually what Mayo Clinic is using here in Scottsdale uh, in their buildings. So if you wanted a tried and true, this is the way to go. In our question corner today, we take a, a look at a question that was sent in by a, a person who says, I am painting very slowly several rooms in a home we recently bought. I have had two gallons of paint made up. One was very light blue, but when I did the first bust strokes, I was so off even though I imagined it to be right. The second was green, which was better than the blue, but again, it is not what I had imagined. I'm going to take the green back again to have them make it darker. I've never had this trouble before. What am I doing wrong? Um, first, let me say you're not doing anything wrong. This is very, very normal because what a lot of the big box retailers and even the paint stores themselves are asking you to do is look at a two inch square and make a good decision of what it's going to look like on hundreds of square feet of wall. And the ability to do that is slim to none, um, even for a certified color consultant. That is usually where we start. Uh, however, a good color consultant will come out with 12 inch by 12 inch squares of the actual colors and tape them up on different walls so you get a really good idea of what those colors are going to look like once they're in your home. Uh, this is really the only way to get an accurate idea of what the color is going to look like because everyone has a different lot placement for their property, they have a different number of windows in the room, they may have a darker carpet or a lighter carpet which is going to affect how light or dark your eye sees the paint color once it's on the wall. So all that to say, if you don't want to spend the time driving back and forth to the paint store and the money buying numerous quarts of paint, uh, a color consultant usually ends up paying for itself, uh, not only in frustration, but just in actual resources as well. So don't feel bad. A lot of clients or potential clients call us uh, with this exact same predicament and that's how come they usually end up booking an appointment. Uh, that does it for us this week. Two thumbs up to Benjamin Moore's Natura. Hopefully we answered your color question. Know that you're not alone. It happens to the best of us. And we will see you back here next time for another edition of Colorworks TV. Have a great week, everyone.